So the machine I'm going to be talking about is called Droplet Digital PCR. It's abbreviated to DDPCR. So this machine is a real-time PCR instrument, so it measures the amount of copies of certain pathogens, viruses, whatever type of input material, DNA or RNA material that you give it, to an absolute number. So the advantage that this instrument has over other machines is traditionally PCR or real-time PCR is just a single well measuring a single product. So one sample is measuring that product. In digital PCR, it takes your sample and it partitions it into 20,000 droplets. So each of this droplet is represented as a PCR reaction. So you have way more power than what you would traditionally have as a PCR. In digital PCR, you actually have 20,000 replicates that you're actually looking at. So the difference also in digital PCR is it actually uh, partitions your sample in an oil immersion droplet. And this droplet is counted, every single droplet is counted with a laser, and it counts positive and negative droplets. So in, within this droplet is a PCR reaction, and then you have your probes or your evergreen dye, and that dye gives off a fluorescence, and then we measure that fluorescence. If within that droplet you have a positive reaction, it shows up as being positive, and if we have a negative reaction, it shows up as being negative. And those droplets are counted, and then eventually you can calculate the number of copies of a specific gene that you're targeting. So the data that can be used is you can get the absolute number of copies of a specific gene. So traditionally, you would have to measure the relative number of copies. So what does that mean? It means that we have a gene and we have uh, we measure the levels relative to a housekeeping gene, relative to something else. In this assay, what you can do is you can measure the exact number of copies of a specific gene within the sample that you have. So this in, in turn gives us much more reliability in terms of our results. So we get much more reproducibility, reliability, as well as we can go into much more in-depth uh, analysis. So this instrument is a really powerful tool right now. It's called third generation PCR technology. So I would suggest that you come and speak to some of the researchers at CRISP and we can try and give you some advice on how this instrument can be used in your research projects. One more uh, very good perk with this instrument is actually much cheaper than the real-time PCR assays. The assay, the, the run to do a single sample is, is actually half the price of a uh, real-time PCR.